Welcome to a bit of data science and scikit-learn, where we learn a bit of data science and a lot of scikit-learn. Um, let's kind of get started here. Uh, just run some things and make sure everything's going up. Uh, so this is going to be the first in this sort of like tutorial-based series, uh, including um, Patsy, uh, Seaborn, um, and uh, stats models. Uh, where we're going to be actually going over a little bit of, of data science, what are the, the fundamentals. Not a lot. Uh, this, this is not um, how to become a data scientist, what are data scientists' best practices. If you're interested in data science best practices, definitely do check out data talks. Um, but we're going to be exploring a lot of scikit-learn. Uh, scikit-learn makes it easy to do things uh, in an appropriate way, uh, at least do data science in an appropriate way. And later on, I'll try to combine all of what we've learned together into uh, a series that should be super appropriate in terms of learning data science using all of the tools, uh, C1, Patsy, uh, stats models, and a lot of scikit-learn. So, welcome. Um, so we're starting off from the ground up. Uh, literally, you only need to know uh, NumPy, probably, uh, and, and some Python. So having some experience with NumPy, having some experience with Python, and you'll be set, and we're going to teach everything from the ground up. You don't need to know what scikit-learn is or anything like that. Um, so scikit-learn is a machine learning library. It's, it's for doing machine learning. It's not for doing statistical analysis, which is a little bit different from stats models. Um, and one of the things that you will need if you want to do machine learning is data. Uh, so this is one of the necessary things. You can't do machine learning without data. Um, and so scikit-learn comes with a couple of data sets. Um, there are three distinct kinds. Uh, there is the sample image. There are the sample generator data sets, and then there are the toy slash fetched data sets. So I'll just go through all of these. Um, the sample images data set are pretty easy. There are two sample images. There's the China sample image. Looks like this. Um, beautiful. Uh, and then there's the flower uh, sample image. Looks like this. Um, and so if you're doing anything with image processing, uh, you know, extracting patches from these, trying to do image segmentation, just trying to do pre-processing pipelines, uh, these, uh, these can be somewhat useful. Um, I guess, you know, one, one thing that is, uh, is good to know here is that um, uh, Flower, if you actually check what this is, um, uh, it's just an array, right? It's, it's uh, RGB. Uh, let's check out actually what the size is. Dot shape. So it's a uh, 427 by uh, 640 pixel uh, picture uh, with three channels being uh, RGB, uh, red, green, blue. Um, so image processing, useful. Um, the thing that you're going to see uh, a little bit of, so we're not going to be doing much image processing here. We're going to be doing a lot more of that later on. Um, what you're going to be seeing a little bit of in, in our scikit-learn tutorials are these sample generators. Um, so if you didn't know already, we are in an IPython notebook. Uh, I've done presentations with these before. Do check out previous tutorials uh, if you want to learn more about that. Um, one of the cool things with IPython notebook is that you can append a question mark after any of your commands, and it will give you the doc string, and hopefully the doc string is really nice. So for example, I want it to learn what datasets.makeblobs does. Um, so I've got some samples, some features, some centers. I can read, so generate isotropic Gaussian blobs for clustering. So if I'm doing a clustering algorithm, you know, I want to use a clustering data set, and this is a clustering data set. Um, and so you get all the parameters down here and what it returns. Um, so for example, I know this will return an X and a Y. Let's check out what the X and the Y shape are. It looks like the X is uh, we've got 100 number of samples, and then we have uh, two dimensions, um, and then we also have 100 number of samples for the y. And I'll talk a little bit more about what x and y are later. Uh, these are the factors, and these are the targets. Um, all the sample generators begin with a make keyword. Um, and then the final data set that you can use are these toy data sets slash fake, uh, fetch data sets. Uh, the toy data sets are so small that they're actually included with scikit-learn. You don't need to download anything. So for example, load Boston. So I've got data, I've got feature names, I've got a description, I've got a target. Um, you can check out the, uh, the shape 
So we've got 506 samples, so very few samples. Um, you can check out the feature names. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like tax is one of the things here, age. Uh, you know, you're looking at um, uh, houses uh, and, and you want to see what the average age is and what the crime ratio is and stuff like that. And you can determine the price of a house based on all these factors. And then you've got the description, which is really nice. Um, with any of these data sets, if you're ever curious about them, if you ever want to use them, you can just print out their data dot, just or their dot description. That's what's tell you all about it. So per capita crime rate, proportion of uh, residential land uh, zoned for lots over 25,000 square feet. That's uh, something interesting. The fetch data sets are a subset of the other data sets. Um, so these will be uh, prefixed with fetch. So we have some that are prefixed with load. So these are the toy ones, some that are prefixed with make. These are the generator ones, and then some that are prefixed with uh, fetch. And then these are the, um, uh, so these are the fetched ones. Uh, you'll notice this also comes with like images, data, target, descriptor. Um, so the uh, data is the data, it's the factors which you're, which you're using to predict, and the target is the things that you'll predict. You can check out the shapes of these sorts of things. Um, you'll notice the if you're fetching an image data set, they'll just you know have this reformatted version. 64 times 64 is uh, 4,096. Um, so these these are the exact same data sets. One is just reshaped, um, and then you have uh, 400 uh, targets. Um, we'll be using this a lot. So Scikit Learn is not just a, a place to get data sets. Uh, it's a lot more than that. Uh, I'll be showing you that in the near future, uh, so definitely do tune in. Uh, but we'll be using these data sets, uh, you know, ubiquitously. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of this. So I hope this was somewhat useful. Definitely do tune in for the next time. Um, and as always, it's always a pleasure.